Ivy, what are you listening to this old song for? No reason. Turn it off. I need to go over some papers with Ethan. Where is he? He went out for a drive. A drive? I mean, he knows these Hodgkiss contracts have to be finished this week. He better start getting his priorities straight. <laughs> and what priorities would those be, Julian? Well, first and foremost, the family's business interests. I think his first priority should be his own happiness. Well, then he must be the happiest young man in the world because he's been given everything he wants. <laughs> oh, yes, he has all the material things in life. What he doesn't have is the love of his father or his grandfather. It's ridiculous. Of course I love him. He's my son. He's my firstborn. I've done everything to ensure his future and the future of this family. Don't you put the needs of this family above Ethan's needs. Don't you make him a pawn like you and Alistair made me. What has gotten into you tonight, Ivy? <laughs> Why? Because I'm not acting like the Ivy we agreed I would be years ago. Don't worry, Julian. I won't go back on our agreement. But don't you break your promises to me, either. Or you and your father will have me to deal with. I'm not going to listen to this. I have work to do. I meant what I said, Julian. Don't go back on your promises to me, or... Don't threaten me, Ivy. <sighs> oh, it's not a threat, Julian. I mean it this time. Oh, yes. Yes. 